So hello everyone, welcome to the live weekly Holy Face prayer meeting. Um, we're, we're live from Dublin, Ireland um, on this Tuesday at 3.30. Uh, we broadcast at this time every Tuesday um, and uh, the focus of our prayer meeting is to uh, make reparation to our Lord, especially in the area of the breaking of the first three commandments. Um, we're obviously in a particularly difficult time in our whole world uh, with this pandemic and um, we're praying uh, for all of your intentions, but we're obviously praying for the, um, I suppose, the relief of our world from this scourge, this plague. Um, and we're praying for all who are affected directly or indirectly. We pray for our frontline workers, uh, all those who are keeping us going, um, you know, the supermarkets, bin collectors, you name it. Uh, yes, our, our police forces. Um, I mentioned everyone in the hospitals. Um, we have to pray for our politicians and our leaders at this time that they would make wise decisions. Uh, that hasn't always been the case here in Ireland, but in any case, we have to keep praying for them, that they will do the right thing by people. It's a matter of life and death. And um, and yes, I mean, I suppose the focus is reparation, reparation, reparation. Um, and, you know, reparation, what does that mean for anyone who's new to this concept? It, re reparation, as it suggests, is to make amends, to apologise, to... Um, repair or fix or amend um, and for what? Well, our focus is, as I mentioned at the very beginning, the the breaking of the first three commandments, which are about our relationship with God, the Father, and the other are the social commandments, our relationships uh, with regard to each other, one another. Um, but the first three commandments, uh, they are the first three for the reason that they're about our, our relationship with God first and we need to have them in the right place and in the right order. And um, for anyone who's not familiar with this devotion to the Holy Face, I'd encourage you to go to our top post on our Facebook page, which is the pinned post. It's under the top video always. And there's a, a an audio with images, if you like a video, uh, attached to that with an image of one of the mystics associated with the Holy Face, Blessed Maria Pierina. She's the 20th century mystic of the Holy Face. So she, um, there's there's a whole history there of the Holy Face devotion, um, you know, going the whole way back to the Hill of Calvary. And you can click on that to listen to the full story of the Holy Face at your own leisure. And I'd encourage you also to send it on if you don't mind. We're trying to get the word out um, on this devotion, on the background of it, as well as the prayers. So. Yeah, and then if you scroll further down, our, our team here in Ireland, Human Life International Ireland, the HLI team, our media person, uh, PR person, uh, Lisa O'Hare, leads a a team effort in praying the, uh, the, the equivalent of what we do every Tuesday um, with some extras, um, including the Divine Mercy uh, Novena and also the Holy Face Prayers. So... Uh, and then the Rosary of Our Blessed Lady and finishing with St. Patrick's Breastplate. That's that's a post recently uh, from Good Friday, if you want to scroll back to that. And that's that's effectively like a, a prayer meeting available for anyone who wants to um, listen to that and pray along to that. It is it is focused on Good Friday, but but it's it's there. So, um, yeah, so this is this is what we do every Tuesday. We've been doing it for a few years now, broadcasting here from Dublin. This started uh, prior to the referendum on abortion in May 2018, we started this broadcast and we've been going ever since. And while we have seen um, changes happening within Ireland that are very sad, even since the abortion referendum, we still honestly believe that reparation is what um, really uh, brings an anointing and blessing from God and is a game changer. Um, you know, so we, we are going to persevere with this and we'd encourage you to do so also. So um, one of the first things uh, I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pray the Divine Mercy. And um, I have already um, done the the um, the novena for today. So I'm just going to do uh, an extra chaplet. And anyone who wants to um, read up on the, um, the devotion for this day, day five, um, they can do so um, themselves afterwards. But I'm just going to focus on the message that was given by an Irish priest in the northwest of Ireland, Donegal, Father Philip, uh, who 
you know, basically said that St. Faustina had an experience of being transported to the bedside of someone who was dying alone and struggling enormously in themselves uh, in fear and and with God and was under um, diabolical attack at the end of their lives. And she was transported in the spirit to the bedside of this dying person and was able to pray the, the chaplet in the presence of this man who was dying and struggling and it brought him enormous relief and resolution and turning to God and conversion of heart and graces, all the graces he needed to die in friendship with God and he received that and she knew he received that through her prayer. That's the power of the chaplet and so this priest, Father Philip, up in Donegal, um, he, he's, he launched this initiative, No One Dies Alone, that spiritually there are people in our nursing homes um, you know, we have a serious problem in our nursing homes here in Ireland with, with COVID-19. Um, there are people who, whose families cannot be with them when they're dying. Uh, and, you know, the, the nurses and the doctors are doing what they can. But but still, to have the peace of God flood the room and permeate the room, to have them see the face of the Saviour, see the face of Our Lady, um, that is what we're aiming for. So I'm going to pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet for the dying and let's bring ourselves into the company of someone perhaps who's unprepared or who's who's unable to reconcile that they're dying or in in great fear um of death um or fearing god or spurning him or even hating him um when and they're dying um maybe alone somewhere and there's no one with them no one to hold their hand so let's bring ourselves to, um, we can't see the person, but let's bring ourselves, at least in the spirit, in our will, to the the, the presence of um, any such person, um, whether it be of COVID-19 or not, in fact, but, and let's pray this Divine Mercy chaplet for them, um, for uh, peace and restoration and, you know, a complete uh, uniting of their will, heart, mind, body, soul with, with, with the Lord. Um, so let's start with the Divine Mercy Chaplet. We'll then go on to the Holy Face Prayers um, and then on to the Rosary of Our Blessed Lady. And yes, this is a Holy Face Prayer meeting and I am doing the Divine Mercy, but I think given what's happening, I think it's it's apt, it's appropriate. And I hope you agree with me on that. So we're going to start with the Divine Mercy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. And let's let's really pray that in the presence of someone who's dying, unprepared, that this will this will be uh, what's needed to bring that person to um, a peace um, and a reconciliation in themselves and with with others, perhaps anyone they haven't forgiven from their hearts, that they would get the grace to to make that um, effort in their hearts, even at the last moment and with God. So you expired, Lord Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. Eternal Father, we offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity 
of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, <coughs> excuse me, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, the soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body, blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. God, our Father, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly on us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. O incomprehensible and limitless mercy divine, who can extol and adore you worthily? O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. So I'm just going to give a shout out to some people um, going back to the start. So is that Samuel um, saying, I have a question. Oh, um, Shalini saying, Amen. Joseph, Amen. Alice with us. Uh, Eileen Brown Hughes also. Lourdes. Um, be my healer and grant my favours, Lourdes. Patsy, praying for me and my family. God bless and protect you. Thanks, Patsy. Sarah Moore has. Please pray for Sid to prove his innocence. God's will be done. And the Annberry family, that's Virginia Hawkins from, I'm probably going to mispronounce this. I'm, I'm sure you chuckle every time I say this. And en Shanitas, is it? Oh, California. Um, I'll probably have to get a tutorial. Uh, Sarah Moore has praying for everyone in the whole world. Um, Lorna. Uh, pray for America big time. Um, pray for my family, Indiana, USA. That's from Laurie. Maximo, is it? Um, please pray for the sinners of the world, for peace conversion for my mom and all my family. And Prakash, saying amen. Angela Hogarth, prayers for my son, Jamie, who just heard he will be laid off due to a downturn from the virus. Family prayers, David heard, has just been diagnosed with throat cancer. God love him. So we pray for him. And his healing, Lord. Uh, Mercedes, um, good evening from the Philippines. Lovely to have you with us, Mercedes. Deborah, special personal intentions. Uh, also health of the family. Gerald with us. Um, and Lito, is it? Uh, prayer for the whole people in the world. Mita, praying for personal intentions of my kids. And Mercedes, heal the world, Lord. And Amek, lovely to have you with us, Amek. Good evening. Um, and Maximo, uh, for my friend Andreas. Del Pielago uh, Deza, I hope <laughs> that was my attempt at pronunciation there, who's recovering, thank God, from the virus. Well, thank God for that. That's some good news. Amek, uh, again, watching Constance for the end of the coronavirus. Absolutely. I think we're all united in praying for that. Those who are affected, especially Drusella, who's fighting for her life. Jesus, mercy. So we pray for Drusella, Lord, that you would lay your healing hand on her and all, all the COVID-19 um patients who are struggling at this time for breath and I suppose you know it's, isn't that what Jesus suffered on the cross they are actually experiencing that and nothing happens by accident so a lot of these people are probably doing reparation um, you know for us for the world um, at this time so uh, we pray for them um, as well at this time and for their healing please God Lord Royan, Heavenly Father, we humbly and fervently offer you the infinite merits and sufferings of the holy face, holy wounds, tears and blood of Christ Jesus for your greater glory and help in our great need. Amen. That's beautiful. Teresa, for myself and my kids to be safe from the virus and Amec, saying for the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. And Francesca, hi from down under, love and prayers. Lovely to have you with us, Francesca. Gosh, what time is it there? Um, Jay uh, Jev, sorry, Jev, Beto, uh, Nilo, Niavera, um, please, Lord God, heal the world. Pauline for my family, Dean and Gerald Singamen, and Pauline again for Kathleen for full recovery from a car crash, and Darren, special intentions for, intentions for family. So thank you very much. Um, all of the spoken and unspoken prayers, we are now going into 
um, the the Holy Face prayers. And as I say, for anyone who's new to this and unfamiliar with the story of the Holy Face and what this is all about, um, I'd encourage you to scroll down the Facebook page. It's usually the second post under the top you know, the video is the top post and then there's usually a post under it. And it has a lot of information in that post about the International Shrine of the Holy Face in Tours, France, where the original revelations were given in the mid-19th century and where all the miracles took place in the home of the the, the miracle worker, Leo Dupont. And, um, and the convent, the Carmelite convent is closed, unfortunately, there, but it's, it's now diocesan offices. But... You can still visit, I think, by pre, um, pre, you know, pre-arranging with the diocese. Uh, we were very lucky; we were allowed in um, when we visited. So, and it's well worth a visit. I would really recommend it. Um, the home of Leo de Pont was a very simple home. It's 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 not ostentatious for a man who was so rich, actually. And but of course, he divested all his funds. He he lived a very simple and frugal life, but that is the home where all the miracles took place. And um, as I say, the full story of, you know, uh, the history of the Holy Face back from the time of St. Veronica on the Hill of Calvary right through the 19th century revelations to to the 20th century and, and possible uh, developments even in our time. That's that's all in, in that audio, which we've attached some images to, um, if you want to say video for the sake of it. Um, so that's something I'd encourage you to look at. You can write to um, the, the um, head of the of the Shrine of the Holy Face in Tours. He is Father Christian Marie, OP, uh, unless they've changed um, who's who's leading it. But it was Father Christian Marie, the Dominican, and you can email him and ask to be enrolled in the International Shrine of the Holy Face in the Arch Confraternity there in Tours. So that's, that's something to consider. And the PDFs, free booklets that you can download are there of both the Novena prayers, which can be prayed at any time. And they're normally prayed in the run-up to Shrove Tuesday, the day before Ash Wednesday. And that's certainly something you can um, do there. Um, but alternatively, um, you, you can download the booklet of these prayers, the ones we're just about to pray now. Um, alternatively, you can go to our website, which is www.theholyface.com, www.theholyface.com. And the booklets and prayers are on that as well. There's also a contact form. You can email us if you're looking for any materials, including the blessed medals or um, the um, the the actual Human Life International booklets, prayer booklets that, that I'm using at the moment. But as I say, the prayers are there for free um, as PDFs. So we're going to go into those prayers now. And our focus is making reparation, especially for the breaking of the first three commandments. And just to quickly mention that that's praying for in a, in reparation for, you know, unbelief, atheism and its promotion. But also idolatry would be one that we'd add in, especially in our 21st century. So putting myself or someone or some activity ahead of God in my life and not having the correct order of having God first in my life. Um, the second commandment being broken, blasphemy, the abuse of the holy name, but also fixed opposition to God, his church and his church's teachings, um, which when you magnify that from one person to enough people, you have a movement that if it ends up being legislated for um, whatever whatever they're activating uh, for or um, trying to achieve, it ends up in ungodly laws that are antichrist. We've seen that in Ireland. Uh, so blasphemy is not just the abuse of the holy name. It's 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 you know a profound disrespect for the sacred, which kind of follows on from uh, unbelief. If you don't believe, you know, why would you respect what previously was um, held as sacred? And then um, the third commandment, profaning the Sabbath and the holy days. Um, you know, um, I suppose um, you know unworthy communions. Um, and there's a whole debate, you know, uh, but but. The fundamental is that we should be receiving in a state of grace. And um, and then there's also sacrilege, deliberate sacrilege, the most blessed sacrament. And we come in reparation for that. Back in the 19th century, they would have referred to unnecessary servile work, you know, manual labour. In our day, it could be all these other activities. In Ireland, it's probably football matches on a Sunday or, you know, whatever, um, which is, you know... Um, relegating uh, the mass to a secondary position or, you know, a la carte approach to the Blessed Sacrament where, you know, there's some area of my life that's not in, 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 in line with church teaching, but I, I, I allow that for myself and I, I go ahead and receive because, 
you know, it's my right. Nearly the Eucharist is a right. So, um, you know, we come in reparation for all that, in reparation for any ways that we've been neglectful or received unworthily or not having reflected and being prepared, not not coming to the Lord with the right predisposition or maybe with unforgiveness uh, on our hearts, whatever, we come in reparation for that. We come out apologising for ourselves um, and then also on, on behalf of our loved ones, we can stand in the gap, stand in the breach. Um, the way the, you know, in the Old Testament, the prophets did in our own small way, we can do that also. And um, and that's something that God, uh, you know, reparation is not just a nice thing to do to acknowledge that there was a breach in um, God's plan and just to say, oh, you know, sorry, that didn't work out exactly the way you planned, Lord. It's it's like very serious sin. the consequences of sin are very serious. And and we come, uh, we come, you know, really um, apologizing, but also beseeching and interceding. And the Lord is not out done in, gero- in generosity. So he did say that all the affairs of the households will be looked after, which is a wonderful promise. And I repeat that always, all the affairs of the households will be looked after. And that's something that the Lord gave to the original mystic Sister Maria of St. Peter, the Carmelite nun who received the revelations. Uh, I mentioned Leo de Pont was the miracle worker, the layman, who lived in the world and and who was, you know, the kind of fulfillment of the revelations. But she was the hidden soul, uh, the mystic and the suffering soul who offered her life that the revelations would become public. Um, and she she was given that by the Lord as a guarantee. All the affairs of the households will be looked after. So, yeah, I mean, extraordinary stuff. And, and I would summarize the different promises. Um, my own way of summarizing them is, is that there would be multiple miracles, countless conversions and a suppression of evil. And we could certainly do with that. So uh, particularly now. Um, I did hear a wonderful talk. Um, if you go to our HLI uh, YouTube page, HLI Ireland YouTube page. There's um, a great chat between a, a, a lovely priest, Father Ona Gorman, and, and our pure uh, media person, Lisa O'Hare. And he talked about the virus of sin and the effects of that. That while we can pray for this this plague to pass us, that, you know, there's a deeper reality about eternal death that we have to be focused on. Um, you know, death shall have no dominion. There, there, even even with tragic loss, um, there's a whole eternity awaiting each one of us, and where we end up is 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 the question. So, anyway, you all know that, and I know that. But but it's 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 still worth bringing our focus in that regard um, to the prayers that we're just about to recite now. So. Um, as I say, these are these are the, um, the the blessings that are associated with these holy face prayers, and we we in, we're invoking those blessings now, not only on ourselves but on our world. Um, which it has to be said, you know, prior to this this virus, um, and even during it, there's a there's a there are constant offences delivered to God. Um, you know, I was reading about how abortion legislation has just marched through in the middle of all of this. Um, it's happened in the north of our country here. It's happened, I was reading, is it, um, am I right, Virginia in uh, in the US? So, yeah, I mean, all sorts of things going on. And uh, it wasn't long before COVID that both Portugal and, and Germany um, legislated for assisted suicide and, and euthanasia. And has to be questioned whether, in fact, there's de facto euthanasia practiced through all of this. I know it's a war like situation and and that is a mitigating factor but nonetheless so we come in reparation jesus we come asking your blessing and and mercy on all of us and we we we're here lord all of us to make reparation for the breaking especially of the first three commandments anyway we've breached in our own lives the correct uh, order of things as you have planned and and wanted them for each one of us to bring us you know john 10 10 life to the full uh, we come on our own behalf, but we also come um, not in any sense of superiority, not at all, but in in uh, in apology for the widespread ignoring of your of your decrees, of your commandments, and um, you know when the first three go, um, you know sl- Satan. We have an expression here here in Ireland: can play puck, can you know can play, can get away with with everything, including murder even of the most innocent, the unborn and the and the vulnerable. So, 
Yeah, so the downstream consequences of the first three going are, are, are often the other commandments and all the chaos and all the generational chaos. So Lord, we're coming, bringing all of that to you, that burden, and we lay it all on your good shepherd heart and we come to you in your holy face. Introductory prayer. Dear Lord, through the sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, we offer you these prayers in reparation for the sins which offend God the most in these modern times, the sins of blasphemy and the profanation of Sundays and your holy days of obligation. And a prayer to offer the holy face of Jesus to God the Father to appease his justice and draw down mercy on us. Now we include our own intentions in this and let's not just pray for our own ones, let's pray for each other's. And let's not just pray for each other's, you know, those who are alive with us, but those who, you know, will be listening back later across different, you know, countries, continents, time zones. Um, let's bring it all to the Lord, all their intentions. And those who listen back later, we ask you, please also pray for ours as we do yours, because that is powerful with the Lord. Um, so, Almighty and Eternal Father, since it has pleased our Divine Saviour to reveal to mankind in modern times the power residing in his holy face, we now avail ourselves of this treasure in our great need. Since our Saviour himself promised that by offering to you his holy face disfigured in the Passion, we can procure the settlement of all the affairs of our households and that nothing whatsoever will be refused to us, Excuse me. we now come before your throne. Eternal Father, turn away your angry gaze from our guilty people whose face has become unsightly in your eyes. Look instead upon the face of your beloved Son, for this is the face of him in whom you are well pleased. We now offer you his holy face, covered with blood, sweat, dust, spittle and shame. In reparation for the worst crimes of our age, which are atheism, blasphemy and the desecration of your holy days. We thus hope to appease your anger justly provoked against us. The all-merciful Advocate opens his mouth to plead our cause. Listen to his cries, behold his tears, O God, and through the merits of his holy face, hearken to him when he intercedes for us, poor miserable sinners. Amen. Um, now we're going to the litany of the holy face. I'll just give a shout out to a few more people. Um, so let me see. Um, I'll have to go back a little bit. Um, where are we? Sorry. Uh so, I don't know where I, I left off before. I'm sorry, I'll just start from here. So, Emmy's sending out blessings to Carol, Marie Mulvey for special intentions, for my brother Dominador's eyes to be better, uh, for my family in the Philippines, Anders Envom, um, uh, prayers for him, and uh, Erlinda, thank you for sharing the prayer meeting. You're welcome. Amek for the additional info. I think that must be to somebody else. Uh, Erlinda praying for for the end of the coronavirus big time. Kailan uh, Dicio, special needs and intentions. Thank you, Lord. Um, and Emmy shouting out to others uh, for our frontliners to be safe. Lucia, uh, happy Easter to you and your family. Please pray for my children and my sick body and I. Yeah, we will pray. Um, and I, if I recall, you're, am I right? You're in, um, is it Serbia or Croatia? I'm sorry, I can't remember, but um, I, I know there was the earthquake there and I'm not sure how the recovery is going there. But um, in any of the countries that also had that additional um, problem of earthquakes, you know, uh, I think it was Greece and was it Texas and, and, and Russia and the Philippines even, um, you know, so we pray for anyone who's, who's actually suffered in that way and ask the Lord to have mercy on us. Um, so uh, let's see, Gilberta for Mita, uh, God bless and protect you and your family um, and uh, please Lord heal me from this cold and arthritis which is very bad uh, so we pray for you Gilberta for your healing and uh, Mike uh, most holy face of Jesus have mercy on us Sarah Morehouse for a young man that's been charged for something he didn't do being in the wrong place at the wrong time um, please pray for God to help find a way to prove his innocence amen so we pray for that um, and we thank the Lord actually for Cardinal Powell's release, we prayed in this prayer meeting every Tuesday for his um, vindication. Um, well, we above all prayed that the truth would come out, whatever it was, um, that it would just be clear that whatever the Lord did out of this final High Court um, episode, that, that it would, you know, it would be the truth and it would be clear, even though I was saying I, I firmly believe he's innocent and I do. And, and I thank God, I just thank God that he was released finally and that there will be 
you know, there will be a resolution of what's happened and a, and a maybe a learning. We had one of those cases here, actually. We had a priest who was accused um, of having fathered a baby out in Africa. And when they did a paternity test, it wasn't his, you know, it wasn't his. So um, he was, he was, you know, convicted in a our Primetime Investigates program on RTE, which is kind of considered the flagship current affairs program here with our main national broadcaster, and he was wrongly accused. And they were very, very slow to admit it and to acknowledge. Uh, there was a lot of pettiness that went on afterwards. So, yeah. So this is what, um, you know, innocent priests are up against from the scourge of paedophilia and what it's done to everyone but especially the abused, but but uh, but even the innocent priests. So God um, love Cardinal Pell. I hope he gets some consolation from that trauma. Um, Bern Bernadette Sheridan, thanks and pray for me. Uh, Gilberta, for my family members, for good health and to come to you and all the world to come to you, dear Lord. Gary, Holy Face of Jesus, hear my requests. Um, and yeah, people just praying for each other. Is that oil? Uh, Noah Manjus, hope I'm pronouncing that right. Amen. And uh, people praying for each other. Nora, for us, she's to do the right thing in our relationship, make a way for us to marry in the Catholic Church and for his conversion. Uh, Gil, saying amen. And that's kind of it. So let's let's go into um, prayers. We pray also for Nora's um, healing in any way that she needs it. And Lourdes and any of the people who need healing of bodily healing or healing of soul we pray for that in, during this litany of the holy face so let's go into the litany i salute thee i adore thee and i love thee o adorable face of jesus my beloved noble seal of the divinity outraged in you by blasphemers i offer thee through the heart of thy blessed mother the worship of all the angels and saints most humbly beseeching thee to repair and renew in me and in all men thine image disfigured by sin the response is have mercy on us O adorable face which was adored with profound respect by Mary and Joseph when they saw thee for the first time, have mercy on us. O adorable face which ravished with joy in the stable of Bethlehem, the angels, the shepherds and the magi, have mercy on us. O adorable face which transpierced with the dart of love in the temple, the saintly old man Simeon and the prophetess Anna, have mercy on us. O adorable face which filled with admiration the doctors of the law when thou appeared in the temple at the age of twelve years, have mercy on us. O adorable face which possesses beauty always ancient and always new, have mercy on us. O adorable face which is the masterpiece of the Holy Ghost in which the Eternal Father is well pleased, have mercy on us. O adorable face which is the ineffable mirror of the divine perfections, have mercy on us. We pray the next part together. O adorable face of Jesus, which was so mercifully bowed down on the cross on the day of thy passion, for the salvation of the world, once more today in pity bend down towards us poor sinners, cast upon us a glance of compassion, and give us thy peace. O adorable face, which became brilliant like the sun, and radiant with glory on the mountain of Tabor, have mercy on us. O adorable face, which wept and was troubled at the tomb of Lazarus, have mercy on us. O adorable face which was rendered sad at the sight of Jerusalem and shed tears on that ungrateful city, have mercy on us. O adorable face which was bowed down to the ground in the Garden of Olives and covered with confusion for our sins, have mercy on us. O adorable face which was covered with the sweat of blood, have mercy on us. O adorable face which was struck by a vile servant, covered with a veil of shame and profaned by the sacrilegious hands of thine enemies, have mercy on us. O adorable face which by its divine glance wounded the heart of St. Peter with the dart of sorrow and love, have mercy on us. We pray together, be merciful to us, O my God. Do not reject our prayers, when in the midst of our afflictions we call upon thy holy name and seek with love and confidence thine adorable face. O adorable face which was washed and anointed by Mary and the holy women and covered with a shroud, have mercy on us. O adorable face which was all resplendent with glory and beauty on the day of the resurrection, have mercy on us. O adorable face which is hidden in the Eucharist, have mercy on us. O adorable face which will appear at the end of time in the clouds with great power and great majesty, have mercy on us. 
O adorable face which will make sinners tremble, have mercy on us. O adorable face which will fill the just with joy for all eternity, have mercy on us. O adorable face which merits all our reverence, our homage and our adoration, have mercy on us. We pray three times together, O Lord, show us thy face and we shall be saved. O Lord, show us thy face and we shall be saved. O Lord, show us thy face and we shall be saved. Before we go to the prayers um, to St. Therese of Lisieux, uh, well, uh, it's her prayer that she composed to the Holy Face. Uh, Nora praying for my healing of depression, denial, anxiety, diabetes. Help me not to feel hopeless or helpless in my life. Help me to take responsibility for my health, for common sense and wisdom and healing and numbness of hands. So we pray that for you, Nora, that the Lord will come and touch you and heal you uh, in his own way. Um, Gilberta, thank you, dear sis. Prayers for you and family. Um, she's saying this to Mita. Carl Rourke, people giving shouts out, so or shout outs even. Please pray for my mom and dad, sister healing, long life, good health, protection, peace of mind, good intentions. And for our tenants, past, present and future, to keep them with good intentions and provide for us all. So let's keep going. Um, and people just giving shout outs to each other. So that that's it. Um, we're going to go into the prayer of St. Therese of the Child Jesus to the Holy Face. Um, she suffered the dark night of the soul in the last two years of her life. She suffered uh, enormously physically also from tuberculosis. She suffered from the spirit of atheism. Um, she basically could not believe and had to just make acts of will. Uh, she had to say, I will believe and um, emphasise the will. Um, uh, and she said, she, I think something to the effect that she just saw this wall in front of her and beyond it was just nothing. And that her whole life was really wasted in there, that it was just a waste, that there was nothing. There was no afterlife. There was literally nothing. And it was just meaningless. Everything was meaningless. That's what she she had huge desolation and she suffered. She suffered physically, she suffered in every way, but yet um, remained faithful, which is quite extraordinary. She had that grace, I suppose. So I think she's a great woman to pray to um, for faith um, in spite of circumstances. Um, and she also, you know, she's a great woman to pray to for anyone who's suicidal. And, you know, people can just put a brave face, as we know, you know, from all the shocking suicides where people are so shocked afterwards. Um, you know, and they're, they're probably people planning it now and just, you know, they nearly relax when they've made a decision to do it, you know, sometimes. So, so we pray Lord through the intercession of this great saint that she will come to them, um, in a personal way and lead them to you and prevent, prevent them from taking their lives. And we ask her to come in a special way to those who are bereaved uh, be it COVID-19, be it in any other way, this great patron of the Holy Face, we, we ask through her intercession for miracles of healing of every kind, Lord. Uh, mind, body, soul, spirit, memories, generational, whatever it takes. Um, so let's pray her beautiful prayer that she composed herself, uh, the saint of suffering. O Jesus, who in thy bitter passion did become the most abject of men, a man of sorrows, I venerate thy sacred face, whereon there once did shine the beauty and the sweetness of the Godhead, but now it has become for me as if it were the face of a leper. Nevertheless, under those disfigured features, I recognise thy infinite love, and I am consumed with the desire to love thee and make thee loved by all men. The tears which well up abundantly in thy sacred eyes appear to me as so many precious pearls that I love to gather up, in order to purchase the souls of poor sinners by means of their infinite value. O Jesus, whose adorable face ravishes my heart, I implore thee to fix deep within me thy divine image, and to set me on fire with thy love, that I may be found worthy to come to the contemplation of thy glorious face in heaven. Amen. And this saint who was so faithful um, at the moment of her death, her sisters who were in the room with her when she was dying said that her, her gaze shifted into apparent apparently nothingness into space you know there was nothing in the room but she was gazing intently and saying oh I love him I love him and her face was radiant it lit up just just at the moment of death that's she saw the face of her her savior and her spouse Therese did so I mean uh that's definitely a, a death to 
to uh, desire, isn't it? You know, to die in in that level of union with God. But um, we can we can pray through her wonderful intercession for our youth as well to protect them from all evil and from a fascination with evil, of which unfortunately there's a lot going around, especially in Ireland, I might add. So we're coming now to the chaplet of the Holy Face. And uh, I just need to grab my beads. I have them there in my hand. Excuse me, everyone. Um, did I get them? Okay, so <clears throat> we step it up now. We come to the spiritual warfare chaplet. This is kind of like Marine Corps stuff here. It's um, from the Exorcism Rite, Psalm 68, verse 1. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Um, I often say we should offer this for a couple of things. We pray always for the Pope and the future of the papacy. So we pray for Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. We pray for Pope Francis. But we, we pray for the future of the papacy, for the integrity and future of the papacy at all times and the those around the Pope. Um, we also pray, I think it's useful to bring, um, when you know you have a particular weakness, um, you know, we bring that to the chaplet on our own behalf. You know, I know what my weak, I, well, there's probably other ones I'm not so aware of, but the ones that I'm aware of, I can bring to the chaplet asking for the grace to overcome myself. Um, and, you know, I suppose as well with the chaplet, we pray, this was given, to, um, composed, I should say, by Sister Marie of St. Peter, the original mystic in the 19th century in Tours, France. Um, when Jesus asked her to battle in prayers, against the enemies of God, especially communists. Now, you know, it's interesting. Um, this was 50 years after the French Revolution, that complete, you know, overthrowing of French society and the church in France. And a good bit ahead of the Bolshevik Revolution, where, you know, Our Lady also referred to um, ahead of time saying Russia will spread its errors. Um, we think of, you know, I suppose the removal of the divine from society, the removal of... Uh, religious liberty, the remo the corruption of young people, um, has to be said there is definitely a spirit of atheistic communism, humanism, secularism, whatever terminology you want to use that's that's operating. And we think of China and the agony that they went through in Wuhan, Lord, that you would bless the people of Wuhan. But we pray, pray for China. We pray for the conversion of China. You know, um, with the fall of the wall, that was not predicted. Uh, or probably was prophesied, but uh, but uh, it was unpredict. You know, it was shocking at the time for most of us. I'd say, um, you know, who can even remember it? But uh, yeah, definitely, let's pray for the conversion of China, um, and from the top down, bottom up, um, and anywhere else where where this is this kind of, you know, Marxism is is operating. Um, so we we come now to the the chaplet of the Holy Face, and on the crucifix we pray. Eternal Father, I offer you the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ and all the other instruments of his holy passion, that you may put division in the camp of your enemies, for as your beloved Son has said, a kingdom divided against itself shall fall. And the next five beads we pray, may God arise and let his enemies be scattered and let those who hate him flee before his face. May the thrice holy name of God overthrow all their plans. May the holy name of the living God split them up by disagreements. May the terrible name of the God of Eternity stamp out all their godlessness. Lord, we do not desire the death of the sinner, but that he be converted and live. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And and I think that's critical. We're not praying against people, but rather any spirits operating on people, blinding them uh, that they may not even be fully aware of if they don't even believe in, in uh, you know the reality of the soul or the spirit. So let's let's go to the beautiful golden arrow prayer. This is the perfect antidote to blasphemy. Um, the perfect antidote, Jesus said, to Sister Marie of St. Peter, to the sin of blasphemy, which is not a small thing, which we take for granted when the Holy Name is abused. Either, you know, you turn on the TV or you go to a movie or you used to rather, um, or you stream it or whatever, and the Holy Name is taken. The very least we should be doing internally is apologizing to God and saying, bless his Holy Name, preferably, we should, um, you know, articulate that Jesus was looking for defenders of his holy name. That's so abused. Um, you know, uh, it's one of the top commandments uh, and it's 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 one of the worst ones to break, actually. And we just take it for granted. Um, you know, there are other religions that would not tolerate 
who or what they hold sacred being um, trampled on and yet we do as Christians so without going completely Robocop or Rambo um, our Lord does want us to honour his holy name and to defend his holy name um, and it's worth praying uh, before confronting someone in the nicest possible way about it you know to perhaps say please if you don't mind you know that's my God and um, please don't take the holy name um, you, you do need the wisdom of Solomon sometimes because some people will nearly do it more out of just badness, but um, which is still, you know, I suppose, blindness. But um, I've, I have heard people saying, and it's anecdotal, that as they pray the Holy Face prayers for somebody to stop abusing the Holy Name, they, they see it happening. They see that the person actually stops. So that's the power of these prayers and the Lord will cooperate with that effort. So let's pray the golden arrow prayer um, in reparation for any times that the name, the name, the holy name of Jesus, which is literally holding us in being from all eternity, um, is 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 so abused and often um, used with curse words on top of it. Um, so may the most holy, most sacred, most adorable, most incomprehensible and unutterable name of God be always praised, blessed, loved, adored, and glorified in heaven, on earth, and under the earth, by all the creatures of God, and by the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Amen. And now we're coming to the chaplet, um, which is 33 beads, made up of five sets of six, um, each set representing one of the senses of our Lord. So five senses, five sixes is 30. And uh, the final three of the 33 beads is... Um, offered in honour of his passion, death and resurrection, his public life and what he did for us in his public life. Um, the 33 being the total number of years our Lord lived on earth. So we're going to go into that now. And it's Psalm 68 verse 1, 33 times with my Jesus mercy and a glory be in between for anyone new to this. So arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. My Jesus, mercy, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. My Jesus, mercy, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. My Jesus, mercy, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. 
My Jesus, mercy, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. My Jesus, mercy, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And the final three, in honour of our Lord's public life, his passion, death and resurrection. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. My Jesus, mercy, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And on the medal at the end we say, Eternal Father, I offer you the holy face of Jesus, covered with blood, sweat, dust, and spittle, in reparation for the crimes of communists, blasphemers, and for the profaners of the holy name and of the holy day of Sunday. The quote attributed to the 20th, 20th century mystic, Blessed Maria Pierina de Michele, the Italian nun. Every time my face is contemplated, I will pour out my love into the hearts of those persons. And by means of my holy face, the salvation of many souls will be obtained. So our Lord said that to Blessed Maria Pierina. And as I do each week now, I've added in the prayer for the settlement of all our needs. Um... Uh, because it, it it also mentions um, prayers against, I suppose, kind of dictatorship and, uh, you know, could be jihad, could be kind of um, military uh, might, you know, taking over kind of free countries and also, um, you know, and for deliverance from that in, in countries where it's existing. And also praying for vocations. So I'm going to pray that now. But it's it's a very powerful prayer. People have, have literally sworn by this prayer um, in terms of, you know, if you can't do the full prayers every day, you know, even to do this prayer is very powerful. And even doing the the golden arrow prayer with an Our Father Hail Mary and Glory Be, that fulfills the request of the Arch Confraternity and Tours that you would do the Holy Face prayers, uh, the long the ones that we're doing now once a week while we're doing that. So that's covered. And then the rest of the day is just to do the golden hour of prayer and our Father Hail Mary and Glory Be. That's kind of fulfills the request of the Arch Confraternity there. But this prayer, people have literally said this prayer is very miraculous, this prayer to obtain obtain the settlement of all our needs. I'm gonna I'm gonna post it up afterwards. So O Eternal Father, since it has pleased our divine Saviour to reveal to mankind in our present century the power residing in his holy face, we now avail ourselves of this treasure in our great need. Since our Saviour himself promised that by offering to you, O Eternal Father, the holy face disfigured in the Passion, we can procure the settlement of all the affairs of our households, and that nothing whatsoever will be refused to us, we now come before your throne. Offering to you, O God, this adorable countenance, disfigured with painful bruises and covered with shame and confusion, we beg through the merits of this holy face to obtain these our most pressing needs. So we, we put our own intentions here. Grant us pardon, Eternal Father, for the worst crimes of our age, which are atheism, blasphemy, and the desecration of your holy days. Avert from us destruction by war and its consequences, which loom through the malice of revolutionary men who have risen up to stamp out religion from the face of the earth through false indoctrination, and who now stand ready to impose their wicked designs with militaristic force. May this offering of the holy face of our Saviour before your throne of majesty obtain for us deliverance from these evils. Send us, O God, zealous and enlightened labourers by conferring many vocations to the priesthood and to religious orders, so that by their prayers, their works and their sacrifices, they may spread the blessings of your church and confound your enemies. Amen. They are the holy face prayers for this week. So I'm just going to give a shout out to some people. Um, 
please God. I'll just go back a little bit. Um, don't know how far back I'm going here, but Marie Andre Narcisse, the Lord is my shepherd. Shall not want glory to the triumphant king. Jesus is risen, indeed. Um, people giving shout outs to each other. Carol to Pamela. Tom Storty for urgent personal and intention. So we pray for you, Tom, um, and for all the petitions on this thread. Thank you, Tom. Uh, urgent prayers requested for me. Uh, Carol, praying for you, for Father Martin, Martin Nyland. Is that the priest with Lyme's disease? Yeah, we pray for, for complete healing for him. Troy's Murphy, for my children, grandchildren, husband and myself and family and an end to this virus. Stella Marquez, um, Stella Marvin, pray for us. We offer the face of Jesus. He knows what's in our hearts. Uh, Ophelia, beautiful name. Um, and I am not going to do justice to that beautiful language, but I'm offering the, the intention to you, Lord. Bob Ward with us. Hi, Bob, saying amen. Kyle. Uh, hello from Northern, uh, is it Michigan? And uh, is this Kate saying amen? And Connie Abanoja. Jesus, help us to be strong in these difficult times for all my relatives in the Philippines, those who've lost their jobs and are struggling with daily food sustenance. Yeah, and Lucia with us. Um, Carol Rourke, uh, Rachel Valdez, she's praying for. Erlinda saying, Arise, O Lord. Stella, pray for us. Yolanda is being prayed for. And we also have, is that Ilda Pedro and Antonia Daniel Pedro? Um, let me just see and uh, is it Joel uh, saying amen and Linda Gorel lovely to have you with us uh, good morning to everyone from Canada so people from all over from Australia to Canada um, and the Philippines and New Zealand and everywhere so we're in total lockdown Sazamic our offices are closed roads looks like a ghost town but it helps with you know, preventing spread of the virus. That's the same here, same here. We're not allowed in Ireland, we're not allowed beyond two kilometres. We can go out for a walk, for exercise, but we're not allowed anywhere, not go to, you know, an immediate shop, that's it, uh, nothing else. So it's pretty dire, uh, but that's 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 been the way it is. So Carol, for my granddaughter, Olivia, uh, Sophia Nino, Holy Face, have mercy on us, Anne-Marie Will Widmer, I beg your pardon, for the conversion of my dad, Cornelius, and Sarah Moore has, thanks for all your prayers, you're more than welcome, Sarah, and Stella Marquez, thank you, <laughs> Um. So look, we're going to go into the Rosary of Our Blessed Lady, we can't leave Our Lady out, and I think, you know, anywhere where she's appeared, um, she's requested the Rosary, Um. it is, Padre Pico said the Rosary is the weapon, and he, no better man. So we're going to go into the Rosary of Our Blessed Lady now, and uh, we ask our, Immaculate Mother to wrap her holy mantle around each one of us and um, to conform us more. To be ready, we never know the day or the hour um, that we would be um, ready when the time comes. Whenever that may be, it could be many years away and please God that's the case, but whenever it is, Lord, that we would be, you know, as ready as you want us to be in, in as much grace as we can be, please God. Um, and we continue to pray for the dying and especially anyone dying alone. There's a bit of a scandal going on in here in Ireland that they, um, our nursing homes, Ireland organisation instructed all our nursing homes to prevent visitors um, on the 4th of March, uh, which was a good recommendation. And our, our government um, actually instructed them to lift the ban on the day after Italy went into lockdown, which is unbelievable. So Italy went into not lockdown on the 9th. Uh, it was already taking hold in Italy to the point they went into lockdown at that stage. The next day, our our health service executive instructed nursing homes to lift the visitor restrictions. Unbelievable. And and also instructed the staff that they didn't need the personal, you know, protective equipment. And so we've got just most of our nursing homes now have clusters right across the country. Most of them do. So they can't have their elder, you know, the elderly can't have their relatives with them. They've sent in what they call specialist nursing teams into our nursing homes. I wonder, does that include palliative care nurses? They've been instructed from back at the time when this, this happened not to have them admitted to hospital. Um, That's been going on here. So you'd have to question, you know, what was going on in their minds at the time and there's very little accountability. There's nothing much in our media. Most of this is social media, what I'm saying to you. There's, there's little on it. But um, so that's so we pray for Ireland and pray for our government and our media. Uh, you know, 
enough said. And, uh, and whatever's happening with you, uh, we pray for uh, President Trump in America, who has to make that decision about, you know, how long does he keep the lockdown and when does he allow even some level of um, functioning to return to the country. Um, we pray for the most affected areas, so New, New York, New Jersey, and anywhere I've missed mentioning. Uh, we pray for those areas and poor Italy and Spain, what they've gone through, which is just, uh, you know, you know, it's 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 unreal. So we keep praying for them, and yeah, for all all our all our loved ones who we can't even be with, um, we pray for them too, and that God would have mercy on us all. So Thou Lord will open my lips, my tongue shall announce Thy praise. Incline unto my aid, O God, O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God. The Father, the Almighty, from thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. For a plenary indulgence for the holy souls, for the Pope's intentions. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in the virtue of faith, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase in the virtue of hope, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase in the virtue of charity, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. So we're going to go into the five sorrowful mysteries of the rosary. And the first sorrowful mystery is the the agony of our Lord in the garden. I know we're in Easter, but um, we'll we'll pray the the sorrowful mysteries just purely. It's it's Tuesday, um, and we'll still bring to mind the passion of our Lord. I suppose in light of the passion of what people are going through, both um those who are ill, those who are dying, those who are bereaved, or separated from the dying and the and and also the frontliners and all the people who are keeping us alive all the delivery people all of that we bring them all to the lord for blessing and that that there would be conversions of hearts lord above all else that there would be conversions of hearts um the first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners <coughs> Excuse me. now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope and I love you. I ask pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, do not love you. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly. I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in all the tabernacles of the world, in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges and indifferences by which he himself is offended, And through the infinite merits of the most sacred heart of Jesus, through the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg for the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. Stay here and keep watch with me. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. In this mystery, we contemplate the physical sufferings of Jesus uh, being scourged to the pillar. Innocent flesh was torn. And in this mystery, we offer um, all the physical sufferings in our lives, past, present and future, in union with the suffering of Jesus, literally being torn to shreds. Uh, we think of the um, the abortions and the death of all the innocents um, in horrible ways. And what a scourge that is on our planet Um at this time and we we come in reparation for that um especially in this mystery lord and we pray for an end to abortions and for conversions of hearts of those who have been either have been involved either having had one or or promoting it or doing one doing them whatever way uh or you know politic politicians whatever we pray for conversions of hearts of them all lord jesus in this mystery the second Sorrowful mystery, the, the scourging at the pillar. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I ask pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly and I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in all the tabernacles of the world, in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges and indifferences by which he himself is offended, and through the infinite merits of the most sacred heart of Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I beg for the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. Stay here and keep watch with me. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. In this mystery we contemplate, um, you know, the moral sufferings of Jesus being slandered, detracted, mocked. Um, and we offer any ways we've suffered that ourselves you know the kind of emotional abuse whatever it may be bullying undermining any of that we offer it in union with the suffering of jesus being crowned with thorns out of love for each one of us we also offer it in reparation for any any ways we've offended wittingly or unwittingly in that regard and um again we we pray as well because they're forgotten in the middle of all of this persecuted christians around the world nigeria you know, Pakistan, India, um, China, big time, um, you know, what they've gone through, the the Christians there, and even, you know, like other religions as well, the Uggirs in the north, you know, we pray, we pray, Lord, for, for um, that you would set the captives free, and again, in thanksgiving for Cardinal George Powell's release, um, and uh, yeah, we, we, we offer it uh, for all of that. So the third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. 
My God, I believe, I adore, I hope and I love you. I ask pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope and do not love you. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly and I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in all the tabernacles of the world, in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges and indifferences by which he is offended. Through the infinite merits of the most sacred heart of Jesus, through the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg for the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. <coughs> Stay here and keep watch with me. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. I'm just going to give a shout out to a few people. Um, so we have Carol Rourke. Prayers for all of our enemies, both known and unknown. And that is a good prayer, Carol, because that is definitely um, a fact. Uh, Connie, that this COVID-19 will be put to a complete stop. Those affected healed and that a cure to the disease will be discovered. Yeah, and there's a lot of controversy over the whole vaccine thing, Lord. So we pray that whatever vaccine that is produced will be a legitimate one um, without kind of adverse effects and it was being suggested that it should be used on on, on Africans you know um, and um, even if there was some sort of a good intention in, in you know offering something legitimate uh, at the same time it, it, it naturally produced a Ferrari because you know it's very much like oh let's experiment on, on Africa you know uh, which is completely you know reprehensible so um lord that it would be it would be done justly and ethically and that it would be a please god a legitimate vaccine is will be produced and not anything that that will harm uh either people individually uh, or society in in the wider sense all sorts of talk about the mark of the beast and all of this and i you know don't know but lord protect us that's all i can say um uh Erlinda praying for Ireland, the Philippines and US. Thank you. Prayers for those being human trafficked, their families and their situations. Yeah, um uh, definitely. I have a friend who's working with ladies who are trafficked in London. It's a reality. Um it's still happening very much. Melly a uh, saying amen, Carl O'Rourke praying for Greg and Jackie Shaw for doctors, nurses, carers who not only do such heroic work, but some of whom are attacked physically and verbally when they're out or on their return home which is ridiculous obviously uh praying for sister Miriam Kat Katerina um and let me see um just is there any other for safe travel to and from the Philippines when everything calms down due to COVID-19 yeah I mean we're hearing here in Ireland it's one of the newspaper reports is saying that this could go on and uh, these restrictions on our movements will go on until a vaccine is available so that is kind of scary because you're looking at at least another year. Um, so, you know, unless there are people who have vaccines up their sleeves, <laughs> the conspiracy theorist in me is wondering at this point, it's not even a laughing matter. So we just pray, Lord, just only you can save us from anything untoward. We just we just come in blind faith as your children, Jesus. So we, we go ahead with the rosary of our Blessed Lady, asking her to wrap her mantle around each one of us and our loved ones and our countries. So the fourth, she who crushes the head of Satan, we're invoking Our Lady, Our Mother now. So the fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. And in this mystery, we offer all the crosses of our lives, past, present and future, in union with the suffering of Jesus, ascending the hill of Calvary out of love for each one of us, carrying the heavy cross. And we offer it for all, you know, the persecuted Christians. I mentioned that again, you know, um, because they are being forgotten. Um, it's, it is extraordinary our mainstream media managed to completely ignore that a bridal party in Nigeria were, were um, killed by jihadists on their way to the church. This kind of stuff that's just brushed onto the carpet, uh, it's very sinister actually really. Um, there is such a, an agenda going on but um, we just pray for the overturning of that. You know, she who crushes the head of Satan, we pray for that. We pray... For all those who've been abused, um, especially sexually abused, but in any way, um, either in our church or in, in the family home, we pray if there's any person or child, Bobby, we're praying for people who are being trafficked, you know, at risk. We ask that good people, that the Lord can use anyone, will be sent to save them. 
Um, and we ask this in Jesus' name for the healing of all those who've suffered any kind of abuse of any sort, uh, emotional abuse, neglect, physical, sexual abuse, whatever, um, for the overthrowing and, and the deliverance of our world from that spirit of, of abuse, molestation, paedophilia, whatever. We come against it and, and the power structures that are any protecting it, be it in our church or outside our church. If, if they're still existing, which presumably that must be the case or it wouldn't have happened, um, we pray for it to be overthrown and purged. Uh, so the fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope and I love you. I ask pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope and do not love you. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly and I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in all the tabernacles of the world in reparation for the outrageous, sacrileges and indifferences by which he himself is offended, and through the infinite merits, the most sacred heart of Jesus, through the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg for the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. <coughs> Stay here and keep watch with me. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion. In this mystery we come before Jesus hanging on the cross out of love for each one of us. Um, we kneel uh, at the foot of the cross in adoration and thanksgiving for the fruit of his passion which is the Eucharist. We come in reparation for all unworthy communions that we have or may have received um, in the past, any neglectful or distracted holy communions and reparation for all sacrilegious communions um you know there's talk about has the mass been stopped because there was so much of that i can't honestly say i know there were prophecies about that but but we come in reparation anyway and also for all the abuse of the most blessed sacrament of which there's been so much 
um, you know, satanic abuse. Uh, we pray um, in thanksgiving for the priesthood, for the protection of our priests. Uh, we pray for their ongoing protection and for vocations to the priesthood and religious life. We pray for anyone who's struggling in any way, people who are, you know, pregnant at this time and really worried about the virus or, you know, people trying to conceive or who can't or people who are grieving uh, in any way, people with addictions to overcome alcohol or gambling or drugs or porn, anything like that. Um, we pray against that spirit of spirits of impurity and uh, underpinning the whole culture of impurity and, and the culture of death. So um, including the radical sex ed in the schools and the whole um, agenda of the, um, you know, the LGBT movement that's taken hold in the schools. And I heard there recently in Ireland that a a girl of about 15 her was removed from her family she wanted to transition to male her parents were against it and they removed the the girl from the family home the uh, state agency did there's 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 a lot of stuff going on that's that's kind of you wouldn't even hear about it except you knew you know second third party um so Ireland is is really well, I mean, our world is, but our Ireland is in a really bad way. I always ask people, please pray for us. Please pray for Ireland. Um, we so badly need it at this time. So the fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion and uh, how we've crucified our saviour here in Ireland and, uh, and in the world. Uh, we apologise. We come in an apology for all of our countries, Lord, for the ways we've turned from your holy face. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Stay here and keep watch with me. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope and I love you. I ask pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope and do not love you. 
Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly and I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in all the tabernacles of the world in reparation for the outrageous sacrileges and indifferences by which he is offended. And through the infinite merits of the most sacred heart of Jesus, through the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg for the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thine, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries in the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. May the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Blessed St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the hour of battle, be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust Satan into hell, and with him all the evil spirits that wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And with all the guardian angels we pray. O angels of God, our guardians dear, to whom God's love commits us here, ever this day be at our sides, to light, to guard, to rule and to guide. Amen. I'm just going to give a shout out to a few people before the three memorares. Um, so let me just see. Um, praying for those who are trafficked. We said that already, I think. Um, please add after each decade of the Most Holy Rosary with this rosary, bind my children to your immaculate heart. Oh, that's lovely. Um, prayers for all of our enemies, known and unknown known and unknown I can't even say that sorry um Carl prayers for the poor holy souls in purgatory oh gosh yeah and especially my dad Leonilo brother Mario Albert Jack Auntie Soledad and the unborn and the forgotten ones uh Virginia for the for FaceTime call to go through to Norbert in a nursing home please God and Connie for all leaders of Philippines, New Zealand, Ireland, President of the US and other countries across the continent. Penance, penance, penance is our answer, says Kyle. Kyle Ann. Um, Connie, have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy on us. Grant us our petitions for your honour and your glory. Francesca, Aussie scientists on the job to find vaccination, honest and good people. Yeah, I think I did read about that and that is really good. And please God, it'll be allowed to go ahead and not something else that's questionable um amic um praying for the souls of frontliners nurses and policemen who died um as they go unprepared yeah i think we've one of the highest rates of medical staff you know nursing and doctors uh being infected in the world here in ireland again just anyway don't start me uh that's another day's work and kyle ann for jmj safe souls Oh, sorry, Jesus, Mary, Joseph. I thought that was somebody you were praying for. Uh, protect the children of the world. And is that uh, Set Kamene Oniris praying for the healing of our lands, the Philippines and the whole world from COVID-19. Forgive our sins, protect us. Um, yeah, and the Leolites family. So for, for deliverance and exorcism of all our families and, and the healing of the bloodlines and deliverance of anything that's untoward in our bloodlines. And we always come in the end to the... Um, the three memorares. I'll just give a shout out to Cas Alice Castillo, praying for an end to the coronavirus. Yeah, and for healthcare workers. And we have uh, is it Ling, Lingdom, uh, Lord have mercy on us, and the repose of the soul of Mister Vic Gruby, our good friend and Legion member who died on Good Friday. Gosh, um, you've mentioned him before, I think, many times. So God rest him and all those who've died. And for all our spiritual leaders. So we're going to go into the three memorares. I do this every um, week at the end. And it's based on, I've always said this, um, a priest who's an exorcist that we were on pilgrimage with a couple of years ago. As Absolution was giving this and asking, and maybe you could all take this on, that we would do three memorares for an end to the spirit of Freemasonry affecting our countries. You might even say it to others. Uh, that's something that he asked for and we can privately do that Um because he said it, it underpins most of the social ills that go against God that are 
active in our society. So, um, and I also add in, in reparation for Ireland's breaking our covenant with God, which was in our constitution, as I kind of said, Lisbon Treaty, I think it really opened the Pandora's box um, that we, we then, everything else kind of fell like dominoes after that. Um, so, uh, and then also we pray for the protection, especially of our young people, but ourselves uh, and our loved ones from the occult, from a, a fascination with the occult. And there's too much of that, um, people getting caught up in it. So we pray for that too. Um, so let's, let's pray and for protection that we'd be sealed with the precious blood, our loved ones, our family tree lines and, um, our homes, houses, places, possessions and sources of supply. We ask the Lord Jesus to seal us all in his most precious blood now and forever. Amen. So three memoraries. Remember, most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin, O Virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come before you, we kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your clemency hear and answer them. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come before thee, we kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your clemency, hear and answer them. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come before thee, we kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your, in your clemency hear and answer them. Amen. So we will finish with a glory be, because uh, we are an Easter people, the Lord has risen. And death shall have no dominion. Death does not have the final say, even if it comes prematurely, in our eyes anyway. So we pray with three glory bees in honour of that. And for anyone whose intentions I haven't called out, my apologies. Anything that's private on our hearts as well that we can't articulate, even to ourselves, you know. Um, the Spirit knows how to pray in us, so we pray, pray uh, for for what's best. So three glory bees in thanksgiving. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy. So we'll be back, please, with the grace of God, we'll be back for um, next Tuesday, 3.30. And God bless you all and keep me in the prayers and I'll keep you and uh, each other's intentions. Bless, bless you all. God bless. Bye bye.